Couldn't do that without a fob, nope. This is the best controller I've ever had by far. So what is a fob? An open source GameCube controller motherboard designed for competitive Super Smash Bros. Melee. The goal of the FOB GCC is to provide Melee players with a controller that does not suffer from potentiometer oddity degradation effect, or PODE. Whoa, 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 whoa. PODE? What is all of this? I thought we were talking about GameCube controllers. I had no idea what a FOB was either. Allow me to explain. But first, let's take a step back. Super Smash Bros. Melee is one of the fastest and most technical games out there. Melee was released in 2001 and is played on 21 year old controllers. GameCube controllers don't have the same technology as typical gaming controllers today. Due to GameCube controllers being old technology, there is a lot of wear and tear while using them over time, otherwise known as PODE. The Super Smash Bros. Melee community has struggled for many years trying to find a way for all players to have a good controller that will last while holding up to such abuse as the game is so fast and technical. The community has made strides by fixing some things by having UCF standard at all tournaments. UCF is a modded version of Melee that helps fix a few controller dependent things but isn't a forever answer. At the mercy of your controller being good, there is still the huge problem of wear and tear. Some players have switched over from using the GameCube controller as a whole to the box, a community-made controller which has no technical errors, but you need to relearn the entire game due to the different controls. This is where a newly designed motherboard that helps eliminate the wear and tear as well as other technical problems is a game changer. I've had my fair share of bad controllers in the past and even got one this past winter and after only four months I was having problems with it. The FOB is very new coming onto the scene this past March. Everyone wants one as they are talked so highly of being able to do every input correctly and not having to hope your controller doesn't randomly bug out or give up over time. What's good about the FOB? Everything. More responsive, they don't break. Like what more do you need? Sometimes you like barely push it and it does like what you want. It's pretty absurd. One of my good friends, Papa Nojons, yes, the <laughs> Mango Pog emo creator, was able to get his hands on one before a lot of people in the community. He highly recommended it since I was having a lot of controller issues and even sent me a contact. I messaged him and put my order in. Four to six weeks later. And just like that, we got the text that we needed that our item is here. And there she is. Got my fob. Sweet. Hi, did we get a fob? Did we get a new controller? Lily, hi, we got a new controller. All right, let's take this out and let's give it a test. This is my old controller. This thing just keeps jumping automatically and it's a little annoying. With a fob, I will have hopefully perfect movement. I'm super excited. Ooh. Classic ultimate controller. Shout out to our boy. I'll have all the stuff right over here, or whatever. Please go check him out. He was super helpful and he was able to get me my fob for a good price in comparison to what a lot of people are selling them for. I paid 216 after tax and he threw something else extra in for me. I got lube triggers because I recommended it. it's really easy to switch back and forth with L and R and light shield and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm super excited. This is my first impression. I have only used a fob once for about five seconds, but I knew I needed to order one because my controller, I had this one and it crapped out after about four or five months. It just, it doesn't short hop sometimes and it's really frustrating and I'll miss inputs and um, everyone's crazy about the fob. So I knew it was time to try it. All right, sweet. She looks gorgeous. Now I need to, I gotta take apart my old controller so I can put, cause I have shaved buttons. These guys, it's really easy, easy to switch back and forth. I just have, it's like a, it's just a stock ultimate controller. Oh, that's cute. Look at that. There's a little ghost on there. I love you guys. Look at that. That's cute. It's cool. The motherboard looks completely different. For any of you people with big hands, I feel for you as well, because this is really hard to put the little screws in. Look at that. That's my new controller. I'm so excited for it. And let's play Melee. All right, we're booted, we are in. Let's test this thing out. All right, let's, uh, this is my first time using it. Okay, I'm no Fox player, but if I can, if I can do anything with Fox, I can do it with Pup easily. Okay. 
Okay, okay. All right, it's pretty buttery. It's pretty buttery, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not used to it though, so it's weird. But let me see if I can pivot with Marth because that was something I could not do on my last controller. Wow, pivots. Pivots are buttery. Whoa. I don't know if I am uh, pressing buttons a little lazy. I might have gotten used to it on my old controller instead of like fully inputting. Stuff was pretty loose on my old one. It feels buttery, I will say, but I do keep missing some inputs. I don't know if that's because of me. I haven't been playing a lot though, so we'll see. Okay, something I always have struggled with is Falco. A lot of, lately, it's been automatically short, uh, full hopping instead of short hopping, and it's been really annoying. But already, this feels pretty dang good. I'm missing a couple of things. I don't know if that's because of me. I think it is because of me. I haven't, uh, I haven't been, like I said, I, I haven't been playing at all. But here's the real test. The real test. My main. Couldn't do that without a fob. Nope. It does feel pretty good. I'm very, uh, I'm very happy so far. I just think uh, it's gonna take a little bit of uh, getting used to. A lot of my controllers were very different to a lot of other people's controllers. They were a lot more loose and I was able to press a lot of buttons, a lot more lazy. And I didn't really have to worry so much about hard pressing some of the buttons. So I'm very excited. Everything seems to be working well. I haven't had a good controller basically ever. Let's try to play some people. So here's my first person I'm ever playing with the new controller. Let's see. Uh... I can already I can already move pretty well. I, I'm liking it. I'm digging it. I can get my I can get my short hop lasers pretty easily. This is nice. On some controllers, it's really hard to get those. I don't know why. Oh, who is this guy? I know some people think you just get a fob and you can just do all this crazy technical whatever, but you still gotta earn it. First impressions. I'm very, very happy with a fob. This is the best controller I've ever had by far. I will say, I never had a Goom Wave. I never got to experience that. I've really only had a uh, capacitor in one of my controllers and it was the last one. And yes, it was pretty good at not having uh, snapback, dashback, all that stuff. Kind of, it was, it was able to eliminate a lot of that, which is nice. But with this controller, I just feel more the most confident in my movement. But from my understanding, this controller just gives players who use GameCube controllers the same advantage of players who use the box. So it just gives everyone the same playing field, which I mean, who am I to say? I'm one of the more early people to get a fob. I'll only really a lot of like top players have them right now. I was very lucky to get into contact of someone who knows someone who created them, which is Crow. So again, shout out to that guy. Thank you for getting me my controller in a timely manner so I can start playing on it, get used to it and take down some dubs, baby. Cause yeah, I don't care what a controller looks like. I just want it to feel good. I could literally, I'm taking my brother's joke. I could have the Ludwig Nutsack controller for all I care, but as long as it plays well, I don't care. This controller has eliminated my problem where it just jumps for me. That was really frustrating cause I would miss such easy stuff. And it was just so dumb on my last one. This is definitely an upgrade. There we go, hitting some stuff. This one's for the fans. This one's for the fans. I will say after getting used to this controller for a little bit, it is, yeah, this thing is, this is the real deal. I could actually do what I want with it. Ah, dang it. That would have been sick. Oh, there we go. Look at that spacing.
Yeah, my, my movement feels really good and I didn't even have to warm up or anything. Overall though, I'm very happy with the controller. It seems to be doing what I want it to, which is really nice. I can pivot like no other. Never been able to pivot like this. Ayah! Wow, it smashed it. It was crazy. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. What is happening here? Overall, I think the controller is great. This was my very first impression on using a fob. Highly recommend it. Shout outs again to Crow Mods. This guy was super nice and he was just a really nice guy and I'd recommend going through him. He has a reasonably priced controller. Like I said in the beginning, I paid 216 for it. That's with shipping and lube triggers to help me switch uh, from light shield to regular shield. And that's it, he was super awesome, answered all my questions and I would recommend getting the controller. I really like it. I can't wait to break it in a little bit more and go to my first tournament with it tomorrow. I'll throw all the specs down below in the description for what the controller has. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you think. Are you gonna get a fob? Are you gonna give it a try first before you get one or what? I think it's the new movement because I know a lot of the old technologies with a typical controller can give out and it's just not that fun sometimes when your controller is bugging out when you're playing such a technical game. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Nah. All right, I think that's it. I think that's it.